Hello students, today I am going to take lecture on Advanced Java Unit 6 Hibernate. In this video, I am going to teach you Hibernate OR mapping, that is Hibernate Object Relational Mapping. Three most important mapping in Hibernate OR as follows. First is Collection Mapping, second is Association Mapping and third is Component Mapping. I will be explaining each of mapping type step by step. So starting with collection mapping. If an entity or a class has collection of value, for example collection of value means array, list, map, sorted array etc. So if an entity or a class has collection of value for a particular variable then we can map those value using any one of the collection interface available in Java. For example, if a entity name person is having two contact numbers, so that is known as a collection of value. If a person is having more than one email, then it is also known as a collection of value. Hibernate can persist instance of java.util.map, java.util.set, java.util.sorted map, sorted set, list, and any array of persistent entities or value. So here we can map any collectively persistent object with database with the help of Hibernate OR mapping. Here persistent object means those object which are mapped with database entity. Now there are certain types of collection. For example, if your collection type is java.util.set then in Hibernate, this is mapped with a set element and initialized with java.util.hash set. If it is sorted set, then also it is mapped with then also it is mapped with set element. The sort attribute can be set to either a comparator or in form of natural ordering. Next, java.util.set. This is mapped with the list element and initialized with java.util.array list. Util.collection. This is mapped with bag or ibag element in Hibernate and initialized with java.util.array list. Then java.util.map. This is mapped with the map element in Hibernate and initialized with java.util.hash map. Then sorted map. This is mapped with again map element. The sort attribute can be set to either a comparator or in form of natural ordering. Next is association mapping. The mapping of association between entity class that is our Java class and relationship between table that is our database or RDBMS table is the soul of ORM. So ORM handles mapping between Java objects and RDBMS table. There are four ways in which the cardinality of relationship between the object can be expressed. The association mapping can be unidirectional as well as bidirectional. Now we need to learn the four ways in which cardinality of relationship can be expressed. Those are many to one. Many object is being mapped with one object in RDBMS. Mapping many to one relationship using Hibernate. One to one relationship. For example, enrollment number of student which is stored in particular field enrollment number. Enrollment number can't be multiple for one entity. So that is known as one to one relationship. Mapping one to one relationship using Hibernate. Then one to many relationship, many to many. Here the mapping of many to many relationship is being performed using Hibernate in association mapping. Next is component mapping. Here the word component means part of any whole system. For example, door is a part of room. So if the room is being destroyed, then obviously door, door is being destroyed. Another example, room is a part of house, where house is a whole system and room is part of the system that is connected with a component type of relationship, where whole is the sole owner. So if house is being destroyed, obviously room is being destroyed. So here component mapping in Hibernate refers to if the referred class does not have its own life cycle and if it is completely depends on life cycle of owing entity class then the referred class hence therefore is known as component class. So here the whole is the sole owner of an entity so component need to follow life cycle of whole entity. 
Now, second point, the mapping of collection of component is also possible in a similar way just as mapping of regular collection with minor configuration differences. For example, if a class name student contain primary key as enrollment number and same enrollment number is foreign key reference to result class. So, this is known as component mapping. So, mapping of collection of component is also possible in similar way just as mapping of regular collection with minor configurations. So, component mapping, mapping for the class having reference to also another class. So, if there is foreign key reference in database, obviously in Java application, this all entity are being referred in form of object and a reference from one class to an another class. So, we have studied Hibernate OR mapping with three type of mapping. One is collection mapping, second is association mapping and third is component mapping. With this, we complete Hibernate object relational mapping. Thank you all of you.